A pleasant day everyone and welcome to the ECDB online pre-board review. We are now on module 4 which is clinical biochemistry. So this is the course outline for module 4 which is clinical biochemistry and these are the basic things that we will be taking up for the next hour. First will be a review on some must-know pearls about amino acids followed by your gamma globulins, some pearls on collagen synthesis and its clinical correlates. We'll also briefly discuss the fat and the water soluble vitamins. I will give you a bird's eye view of how we take up clinical biochemistry and its applications in the review center. And lastly, we will end up with some glycogen storage diseases. So this is the basic course outline for module four. Now my reference will be Harper's Illustrated Biochemistry. So we will first take up your amino acids. Now this illustration shows you the basic general structure of all amino acids. So as you can see, all amino acids will have an amino group, that's your NH3, and all amino acids will have the carboxyl group, which is COO. So repeat, all amino acids will have an amino group. This is what's being pointed. And all amino acids will have a carboxyl group, which is your COO, or what is being, what is being pointed at. Now, all amino acids also have an R group, as what is illustrated here and the R group in some references is also known as your polar group always remember it is the R group which will determine the classification of the amino acid example whether the amino acid is a branch chain amino acid whether the amino acid is a basic or an acetic amino acid what will determine that is the R group now some basics from the textbook there's this terminology I want you to be familiar with, and this is called a Zwitter ion. Now, what is a Zwitter ion? Always remember, amino acids will exist in a Zwitter ion state. Now, what does that mean? It means that at a physiologic pH of 7, all amino acids will have a double charge. So this is the doubly charged species mentioned in the textbook, and this is known as the Zwitter ion state. Now another property of amino acids, aside from the Zwitter ion state, is the property of an amino acid to be amphoteric. Now at a physiologic pH of approximately 7, an amino acid can either act as an acid or a base. And this is what we call amphoteric. So Zwitter ion, doubly charged, then we have the amphoteric, which means an amino acid can either act as an acid or it can act as a base. Now next is the classification of amino acids, which is based on the properties of the R group. Now the first classification of amino acids is the non-polar amino acids. These are hydrophobic. Then we have the polar amino acids. However, they are on charge. So please take note of that. So we have the non-polar amino acids, which are hydrophobic. Then we have the polar amino acids, but are uncharged. Then we have the amino acids that are charged. Now the charged amino acids are either classified as acetic or basic. The acetic amino acids are negatively charged, while the basic amino acids are positively charged. So please take note of that. Negatively charged is the acetic, positively charged is the basic. Now, must know board exam question. What are the basic amino acids? First, we have histidine. Next is arginine. And lastly, we have lysine. So the basic amino acids is histidine, arginine, and lysine. So I want you to focus 
especially on the topic of amino acids, on the first letter. So this is H, A, then we have L. So the basic amino acids is HAL, histidine, arginine, and lysine. <clears throat> so if you know the movie Shallow HAL, I'm going to make it basic HAL. So what is the basic amino acids? HAL, H-A-L. So that is again histidine, arginine, then we have lysine. Now, what about the acetic amino acids? If you remember, we mentioned a few minutes ago that acetic amino acids are negatively charged. We have aspartate, then we have glutamate. So the acetic amino acids is aspartate, then we have glutamate. Now, sure ball in the examination. What are the branch chain amino acids? So our magic word here, keyword, is the branched chain amino acids. Now, the branched chain amino acids is leucine, isoleucine, and valine. So as you can see, I've highlighted the first letter, L, I, then we have V. So leucine, isoleucine, then we have valine. The branch chain amino acids is LIV, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Now, I usually tell students that you branch out to others so that they may live. So branching out to others so that they may live, branch chain amino acids is LIV, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Now, this is your clinical pearl, which most likely will come out either in biochemistry or your pediatrics exam. What is the disease that arises from a defect in your branch chain amino acids? This is known as your maple syrup urine disease. So maple syrup urine disease. Now, next concept is what are the essential amino acids? The essential amino acids, you've probably heard of the famous mnemonics, Private Tim Hall or Private Matt Hill. You can choose whichever you want, either Private Tim Hall or Private Matt Hill. So this is your mnemonics, PVT, T-I-M, H-A-L-L, Private Tim Hall. The essential amino acids. Now, when we say essential amino acids, it means these amino acids cannot be synthesized by the body or it cannot be synthesized in the body. That is why the amino acids must be provided for in the diet. So again, this is Private Tim Ha. Phenylalanine, valine, threonine, tryptophan, isoleucine, methionine, histidine, arginine, leucine, then we have lysine. Now, heads up, this pops out in almost every exam. The last two, leucine and lysine, these are the only purely ketogenic amino acids. Let me repeat that. Leucine and lysine are the only purely ketogenic amino acids. Now, if you've noticed, I put an asterisk in arginine, and in your mnemonics down here, private Tim Hall, you will notice the A has an asterisk arginine because there's a lot of other amino acids, which is also starting with the letter A. Just remember it's arginine. So this should help you out. Private Tim Hall always argues it never tires. So Private Tim Hall always argues and never tires means the essential amino acids is always arginine, but it's never tyrosine. So always arginine, but never tyrosine. Now, what are the nonpolar amino acids? The nonpolar amino acids are the following. We have glycine, alanine, then we have proline. So your mnemonics I've highlighted in blue is GAP. The nonpolar aliphatic amino acids is GAP, glycine, alanine, and we have proline. So what is your branch chain amino acids? It's LIV, L-I-V, 
What is your basic amino acids? It's HAL, H-A-L, while the nonpolar aliphatic amino acids is glycine, alanine, and proline. Now, question, what amino acids will absorb ultraviolet light? So what amino acids absorb ultraviolet or UV light? Now, there are three amino acids which will absorb UV light, and the explanation why these amino acids can absorb ultraviolet light